Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Bembai and today I decided to share a story with you guys. I was watching um, National Geographic, like a lion type program, like a, li a program about lions essentially. And it reminded me of one time when me and my family went to safari um, in a few years ago in Zimbabwe. So the TV show was about, like the segment we were watching was a little tiny baby cub had spent like had had the greatest adventure essentially where it spent a evening away from the rest of the pride so it like was accidentally caught with these like male lions it nearly was eaten by a hippo um and a bunch of stuff and then it like goes tries to go back to the family but they can tell it's weak so the mum and the aunt start rejecting it and it's really really sad it's like this tiny 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 cup like you know like tiny small essentially um and then it reminded me of how one time me and my family so my mum and dad um decided to go do this walk with the lions um thing that they offer like so the idea is like you wake up at the crack of dawn and you go to like a, a reserve type thing where they have little cubs um well I say little but like apparently the week before we'd arrived the people were walking with like actual like teenage cubs and at one point these teenagers um decided you know like because it's still like a reserve and there's still other wildlife that is not lions decided to go hunting because they spotted like a baby a zebra or antelope or something and um, boom off they were and these like the tourists who were there were like oh shit these things are actual predators so anyway we get there and we're like little little baby ones and i'm like this is so cute but i'm wearing it's important to know an orange jumper um, so when you do this walk with lions thing, they give you a stick and the idea is you can use the stick to distract the um, the, li the cub when it's getting a bit too close or you just want it to go a little away. So we, you know, we're walking, we're doing the thing, we're walking with the lions um, and then it happened. Um, I don't know what we were doing. Like we'd stop for a little bit for like a photo opportunity type situation and I just started like messing around with my stick which you shouldn't do because the lion like the little cubs were distracted and i'm just there like oh mindlessly tapping away and then one of them caught like focused on that like just proper zoned in on that and i was like oh shit and it would not it was like once it was focused once it was locked in it was like okay I need to catch that thing like it's like the instinct kicked in right and I, I know I know this is like a baby cub and when we were going the guy was like don't you know what like don't show fear like make sure you stand strong make sure that they know that there's no weakling here because like they might be small but the lion instinct is strong well shit I'm like the thing is looking at me I look it in the eye it's like girl I see you and next thing you know it's starting to do its little thing it's starting to like look at me in a like oh this girl's juicy her orange red jumper slow low-key reminds me of blood let's go for it and luckily everyone else like they were telling me like be strong don't move and I'm like nah mate I, mm, mm, mm. I'm I'm fake brave like these are things you, people need to know about me I am not brave in the slightest and so like uh because I was, I mean, I like, I wasn't a kid, but like, look at me, I look like I'm five. So all the other adults, the real adults, surrounded me and sort of like put put in a barrier. And the, and then eventually the cub was like, okay, cool, you're fine, you're not that small, like, or oh, you protected, I got you, I'll leave you alone. And from that moment on, I realised to not mess around with lions. Because at the end of the day, like, they were cubs, but that instinct was strong. And I, I mean, it's tiny, but I'm sure its teeth would have still done some stuff to me. And yeah, so don't mess with lions, kids. Um, and that's the end of my story. If you liked this video, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment. Um, in the comments below, tell me about one sort of life, you know, terrifying incident you've ever faced with an animal. And I will see you guys tomorrow. 